start us off? First for Coach, uh, just the, the way your offense is executing here, second straight game with 55% or better shooting, you're getting double-digit scoring all up and down the starting lineup. Uh, you guys have kind of just hit the ground running out of the break. What are you seeing? What, what is going so right for the offense right now? I think it was different in each game. Um, I thought today in particular, um, obviously Courtney Williams in, in pick and roll game was was just really good offense for us. Um, thought we moved the ball well. It's what we do. Um, we could get some penetration. Uh, we share it well. And uh, people got their opportunities. They made shots. Um. The uh, uh, you told us the pregame that Heinz Allen had only had one shoot around with you guys. It didn't really look like she'd only had one shoot around with you guys. Yeah, she was playing basketball. I mean, it's not complicated, and you know, we gave her a few things, and you know, we did just play them twice. So she, I think she, you know, felt like she knew us well. And then, you know, I mentioned this before. I think the way that Washington plays and some of the stuff that they do, you know, made it made it an easier. Um, you know, more of a seamless fit for her. But I just thought she was playing basketball. And then I thought her teammates really talked her through um, some situations. And then I just thought Maisha was physical defensively like like we hoped she would be. And and um, yeah, just a good basketball player. I mean, it was, it was it was hugely important given Alana's fouls, huh? It was, yeah. Uh, can you just talk about the – the game Collier had, and, and not just the offensive totals she had, but the defense she played at the other end matched up with Asia much of the night. You guys want to talk about it? Uh, so, <laughs> Fee, <laughs> Fee was great. Fee, Fee had eight deflections. Um, you know, Asia, um, obviously a great player, and, um, you know, which I try to have a little more concerted effort in guarding her. Um, but, you know, like I said, Fee drew the assignment mostly, and and uh, I have to go back and watch the video, you know, to understand if it was us or, or, you know, was it, was it, uh, you know, I know fee was hard to play against for sure. Um, you know, with, with her deflections, et cetera. Um, but I, I have to go back and watch, um, you know, those moments cause that will be big for us on Friday. And my last question uh, for Courtney, um, great night tonight, obviously. Um, but in the fourth quarter, they had a quick five, nothing spurt to get, I think, within six. And you guys came out of a timeout and scored eight straight, and you were a big part of that. Can you just talk about how important that moment was and what you guys were able to do? Yeah, we understand that Vegas is going to go on runs. Um, I think our biggest thing was just make sure we answer their runs, um, you know, and that's exactly what we did. They went on the run, and we answered. Rafik and then Terry. Yeah. The question for the players, I mean, how are you two able to, like, come together when the Aces were kind of, like, closing on the deficit and getting as close to six points? I feel like we've been doing that all season. Um, there's really good teams in our league. They're going to go on runs, um, and we're prepared for that, and we always stick together. Uh, we trust each other. We trust that, you know, if they get a couple buckets here and there, we're going to defend the next possession, get a stop, and go and score on the other end. Um, I think there's a level of trust that we've built throughout the season, um, and, you know, we always stay confident in that. And, understanding that that's going to happen throughout the game. Yeah, and a final question. I mean, um, this team has exceeded expectations like all year long. Like, this is a question for the coach. I mean, what are you overall impressed about the way the leagues have come together and exceed expectations? I mean, we know what we could do. We know what this team could do. We've seen it. I think we felt the energy during training camp. Um, and I think everybody else is waking up to it. But we know what we can do. Okay. Appreciate the insight. Good luck. Thank you. Harry? Uh, yeah, first question is uh, for Coach. Uh, congrats, all of you, on, on the win tonight. Um, Coach, you've talked about this team being a group of great problem solvers all year and often going into a timeout. By the time you get there, they've already said everything that needs to be said. So I'm just curious about that that timeout that was called in the fourth quarter when uh, Vegas trimmed the lead to six. Just what kind of that conversation was like um, and uh, just the uh, – response um, from, from your team to take, take uh, control right back after that. My recollection, it was a more spirited one. Um, we had some players that were on the bench um, that we uh, inserted, you know, we went to, went back to our first five and that, that group, that first five understood um, we needed to execute. I, I thought we were, if you go back and look um, out of timeouts, 
might have been our best execution game out of timeouts and, and running the stuff and converting. Um, and that was important because Vegas is exceptional in that space. And so uh, I think that was a big part of the game. And, and you know, like like Court said, I mean, they, um, you know, probably had some conversations. They were watching. I believe Court was on the bench uh, during that. Uh, so they were watching and they understood, you know, some of the places that, uh, you know, we, we turned it over. I think that's, that's really what it was. They were playing off of our um, marginal offense. And, and so we knew we needed to to clean up that end of it so we can get our defense set. And then for Courtney, obviously a big, big game for you individually offensively tonight, but also this was one of the more, you know, balanced games with all, all five starters in double figures, a lot of points coming off the bench as well. Um, a lot of assists coming from you and just this, the orchestration of the offense was almost at its highest level. Just, you know, what uh, did you see out there that um, we were able to, uh, you know, capitalize and play at such a high level tonight for the second time in, in Vegas against this team? Yeah, I think it's what coach said. I think uh, coming out early and kind of seeing how they was playing a pick and roll um, and my shot was going. So we was just attacking that um, and just trying to make reads while I was out there. Thank you. I'll see you on Friday. Thank you. Michael. Coach, this is for Coach Reeve. Um, you guys have had a lot of big weekends over the years, but this weekend with Maya being honored, obviously, you guys with 20 wins. Um, I, I just wonder just, you know, from a big picture standpoint, how much you're kind of looking forward to the links being celebrated this weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, Friday night with some some Hall of Fame recognitions, you know, three players and Saturday night, you know, to see Maya's jersey being uh, hung in the rafters and joining, you know, her teammates and, you know, really special. Um, we've been actually reminiscing a little bit more you know, just just because um, there's a lot of conversations around it. Maya's done some interviews. We've done some interviews. And so just talking about Maya, just uh, what, what a special basketball player she was and, and, and all the you know, the ways that, that she impacted the links uh, on and off the court. I mean, there are so many people that have great stories about her. And, um, you yeah, know, so it's, it's like you said, it's going to be a, a very special weekend. Thank you. You're welcome. Andrew. Congrats on the win, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to ask the last two games coming out of the break, it seems like you've been subbing – uh, Courtney in a little bit earlier in that fourth quarter is that just kind of flow of the game or wanting to stop a run or I was just kind of wondering what the thought process was with that yeah you're, you're saying uh that she's not uh you know I take her out typically in the first quarter right around the four minute mark um depends on what's happening depends on the minutes uh, of the group that comes in behind uh court you know the idea would be to to get her extended minutes if we can uh, but in a game like today, when she's playing so well and impacting the game, you know, just tremendously, and not just her individual offense, but she was getting easy offense for other people. I uh, thought her defensive assignments, I thought Courtney's been really good the last few games. Um, so I think probably a little more a product of, you know, it's a player who was getting busy, as we say, and, and uh, you know, court needed to be out there. And then Courtney, last one for me. Uh, I'm not going to ask you if we can call you a point guard yet, but another 10 assists, one turnover. Been a great stretch since we've come out of the all-star break here. Just are you seeing the game a little bit slower or what's going into that assist making? Oh, yeah, I think the Olympic break was huge for me. Just getting in the gym, um, getting in with EP and Katie and them kind of talking to me and, and and helping me with my basketball IQ and just seeing the game, like you said, just a little bit better. Um so yeah, man, credit to to the to these women, man, that that came before me because they they definitely helped me out a lot. Thanks, guys. I'll see you Friday. All right, thank you. Any final questions? See you Friday. I right, know.